Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Hummel. It's the Tier 6 German SPG. This one's located on the northeast spawn of Westfield and it's under the command of Angelina75. And this is her first replay submitted for this week's competition with Talon 1958. Game on. Well, she's got the 15 centimeter howitzer, but it's the stock gun which of course is much better for the Hummel than the Top Gun. The Top Gun can fire over the entire range of the map and has a much higher alpha. It's got 600 alpha. This one will do 480, but it's much more accurate. It does have a short range. It fires quicker and it does have more shells. So you can hit more targets with this than you can with the other one. Anyway, she's positioned herself nicely on the hill trying to get uh, good shots down range and she's looking for a target she spots that 12 ton but i think she wants that tiger oh spotted a stir mill now that's a good target to hit he's just taken a shell from one of our tank destroyers unfortunately angelina's shell went to, to the north of him Okay, we've lost sight of the enemy, and the reason for that is that we don't really have any heavy tanks on our team. And the enemy team has been gifted with a Tiger 1, and he's actually quite a good player, but there's no heavy tanks on our team whatsoever. A couple of medium tanks, in fact, more than a few medium tanks. It's a Tier 7 game, and uh, Tier 6 tanks in it. But the enemy has a Tiger 1 and a Chi Re. We don't have any heavy tanks at all. We've got a Comet, a P43 Tur, and then a bunch of tier 6 mediums. Well, Angeline's shell doesn't hit the 12 ton. He manages to escape. Okay, changing position just in case the enemy RT spotted where she is. There's two enemy RT M44s. So both of them can fire over the entire range of the map, but Angelina is kind of restricted. Now the enemy just lost their EBR Hotchkiss, which is good news. So he's not going to be able to bother Angelina, but we still can't see the enemy tanks. Not good. Yeah, she's telling that, or well, somebody on the team is telling them to spot. In fact, it's the other RT on our team, the M44. And suddenly, this Strip 74 comes into view. Angelina fires. Oh, and that's a hit. She only got 208 hit points of damage, but the Strip suffered a massive amount of damage very quickly. He's not a happy bunny right now. Okay, but we still can't see the enemy tanks. EBR Hotchkiss is going in for a quick look. Hopefully, he might be able to spot something for us. The big worry for the EPR is that Sturry Mill might get him. In the meantime, the Tiger 1's been spotted. He's down by the valley. He moved all the way from the heavy tank area and went down to the valley side. Angelina can see where he is. She fires around in. And it appeared to land right next door to where the Tiger 1 was last seen. In fact, uh, I'm afraid the, the recriminations have already started because even though they're only one tank down on the enemy, uh, they're saying, you know, this is uh, not a good team, or rather they're saying good team this, and they're being sarcastic, because apparently most of the tanks on our team are actually hiding from the enemy. Okay, Tiger 1, rounds out. He pulls back a little, but Angelina's shell finds him. 133 hit points from that one. There's the Sturm Mill. My gun, he pulled a long way back. In fact, the enemy team went defensive as well. Okay, so we're aiming for the Stura Mill. If we can penetrate this guy, we'll get a lot of damage off him. 480 Alpha, 38 millimeters of pen, and that's a direct hit. And a direct hit like that more than likely will penetrate the Stura Mill. He doesn't have much in the way of armor. In fact, he has lost a third of his, or a quarter of his hit points already. And Angelina's, well, she's moving up the side of the map, or the north end of the map, Okay, we can see a SU-100 right at the end of the village. Angelina's trying to find a target she can shoot at. Most of them are too far away for her to get a 
good, decent shot on. Goes for the SU-100. Oh, that was splash. 55 hit points of splash. That SU-100 is coming in this direction, although he's got to get through an 88 to get here and an SMBCC-56. That will probably persuade him to go elsewhere. We're now two tanks down on the enemy. There's the SU-100. Just took a hit. Rounds out. Direct hit from Angelina. 165. Good shot. You can see where it hits him. Right on the side armor as well, where he's weak. As you know, the SU-100's made from the hull of a T-34. With a very big gun, because of course it can carry the 122 mm gun, but most of them did carry the 100 mm gun. And she got another direct hit because he didn't move. Yes, you always move out. Once you've been spotted and hit once, don't stay in the same position. You'll get hit again. It's almost the cardinal rule, but he broke the rule and he's paid for it because he's now been hit twice. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that SU-100 missing most of his hit points next time we see him. Because when we last saw him, he had about a third of his hit points left, but I reckon he probably only has a fraction of that now. Angelina's is trying to see if she can hit this SMVCC. She can. He's right at almost maximum range. You can tell that because the rescue has been flattened. It's ovoid now instead of round. She fires the round in. That's going to splash him. That was close. Yep, he gets four, hit, uh, four seconds of stun. Unfortunately, we don't get anything else out of it because our teammates weren't firing at the enemy tanks. This is the problem with the RT at the moment is that unless your teammates actually hit the enemy tanks whilst they're stunned, you won't get any stun assist out of it. She's going for the SMV CC-56 instead. He pulls back again after getting warning of shells on the way in and he gets some stun again. But the enemy P-43 was fairly nearby. Well, Angelina's following her teammates. She's moving up in line with them. She's keeping relatively close to her teammates for protection. Okay, it looks like the enemy tanks are trying to go for our cap area. So it does make sense for Angelina to follow her teammates. Yeah, she's looking back and there's that SU-100. Look, he's only got 53 hit points left. That's thanks to Angelina. And he's been joined by a super Hellcat. Okay, now she can take him. Rouse out. And she does. He's gone. Nice kill. Angelina collected most of his hit points. And that super Hellcat must be feeling a little trepidatious at the moment. Our M44, who's still firing, but won't be for much longer if the enemy gets to him. And they probably will. He's still trying to have a go. Now, can we get this guy? Because he's up against the wall. Rouse out. Direct hit! Lovely shot, 235 hit points. It's a non-penetrating shot, which is surprising because Super Hellcats don't have much in the way of armor. In fact, it's about 12.7 millimeters of armor. Okay, she's looking down into the valley near our cap area. The SMVCC-56 is down there. She's trying a leading shot. Rounds out, this looks good, very good. It is right on target, 187 hit points. Unfortunately, the Tiger 1 is getting very close to us. Not so close that they can see us at the moment. But if he does spot us, we're going to be in trouble. In fact, now we're so far down on the enemy. I don't think they're going to win this one. But at least Angelina gets another kill on the Super Hellcat this time. Yes, I don't think she's going to survive. She's trying to get away from the enemy now. And the M44, well, he didn't get killed. But he's our... One of our last teammates alive, and he just got wiped out. Which means now Angelina is the last tank other than the T-3485. But of course, Angelina's got two kills. She did get spotted. Somebody up ahead, I think. I don't think it's the guys behind her who spotted her. I think it's somewhere up front. I'm wondering if it's the one of the enemy arty, actually, that may have spotted her. Well... I'm more than likely the enemy tanks are going to be heading this direction very shortly. One of the enemies capping. And, oh, yes, we were still spotted. And I think it was the enemy arty that spotted us. Because that shell just came in from the enemy M44. 
the story mill's very close. There he is. Angelina can get him. She can damage him. I'm pretty sure she... Yes, she did fire at him before. Lining up the shot. Fires in. Oh, big hit. That's a penetrating shot for 485, but it didn't kill him. She did fire at him before. And... That's the end of Angelina's game, but she put up a great fight there. Here's the end of battle results, and that was the third class tanker to Angelina 75 in the Hummel. She managed to get a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, she got 11, and she got a win eight of 3,801, which is super unicum standard. And boy, did she fight well in this game, but sadly, that's not enough to beat Talon, who got a first class bruiser and a confederate. That's the lead at the moment. So. Unfortunately, this means that he still keeps the lead and Angeline's going to have to send in another replay if she's going to beat him. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Let's have a look at team score. Oh my gum, she did get a lot of damage. Look at that, 2,107 hit points. She got the highest damage in the game, but she didn't get the high caliber because she didn't get 20% of the enemy hit pool. That was excellent. The second highest damage in that game turned out to be a T3485 on our team with 1,641. And the third highest damage turned out to be the Tiger 1 on the enemy team with 1,615 hit points. When it came to kills, it was the Type 64 on our team who did the best with the... He got an Orlix medal, Naden's medal, so he must have killed all the enemy light tanks in that game, at least three. And um, they must have been higher tier than him as well to get the uh, Orlix medal um, because uh, he shared that top score with the SMDCC 56 on the enemy team who also got three kills. But uh, very well done to the Type 64 for doing that that well. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't enough because he didn't get enough in the way of hit points. I suspect that a lot of the damage was done by his teammates and he was just finishing off the enemy tanks as and when he saw them go before him. But uh, certainly very good to actually get the light tanks out of the enemy team. Uh, the joint second place, actually, Angelina with two kills. And the Tiger 1 and Sturu Mill and the Super Hellcat and their Striv 74. The Striv 74 got a Leather Slaves medal because he killed two enemy tanks or tank destroyers in a battle with a medium tank, at least one tier higher than himself. So very well done to him as well. When it came to base XP, yep, it's the uh, enemy team. The SMV CC 56 managed 892. Tiger 1 724. 714 went to the Sturu Mill. And Angelina came in on second place on her team but she was way down on the enemy team because, of course, uh, most of the enemy team were above her. Ten tanks on the enemy team, one on her own, which actually puts her in 12th place when it comes to uh, base XP. So, yeah, not so great. But there again, she did put up a great fight. And look at that score. That's definitely the, uh, the highlight. To get 2,107 hit points of damage, even though she was on the losing team, she was definitely their best performer. Angelina fired 16 rounds. Yes, she did fire a healthy load of rounds. Eight direct hits on the enemy, one penetrating shot. Now, I think that penetrating shot was the one right at the end on the Surrey Mill. 14 splash, damage of 2,107, of which 1,622 were at more than 300 meters. So there was some close range shots. And I think, again, that was on the Surrey Mill, who was very, very close when he, she got taken out. She did receive one hit. It was a penetration and two hits by way of splash from the enemy RT. Uh, the, the penetrating shot came from the Tiger 1 who took her out in the end. Six enemy vehicles were damaged, two were killed, and she also got 12 stuns on the enemy, but no stun assist, and that's why she didn't get anything better than third class. If she got some stun assist in this game, I suspect she probably would have got at least a first class tanker, and her base XP probably would have been enough to beat Talon as well. So I think, but for the fact that her teammates weren't shooting the tanks that she was stunning, she ended up getting a, a, a replay where, unfortunately, the team lost and she didn't end up with enough stun assist. So she earned 37,176 credits on a premium count for the battle. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 26,923 credits profit, 678 XP for the battle, and no multipliers. So that's all the experience points she took away. Now, the highlight of that one was she actually did hit that story mill twice. One of those, if you remember, was a blind shot. That was um, uh, because we didn't actually see exactly how much damage she did. But we do know that she hit him, I think it was for 400, was it 420 or 480 
in the second shot. So she did get a blind hit, a sizable blind hit on him in the interim period. Um, the, the one that uh, we didn't see, which we thought might be a penetrating shot because Stuart Mills don't have good armor. And um, so she did do some damage to him and penetrated him with the, the subsequent shot. So great game by Angelina. Sad that it's not enough for her to actually get uh, the lead. But uh, I'm sure she might come up with something because she has been able to get ace tankers before. Um, so she might get something before Sunday morning to, uh, to find out if she can get the weekend line. After all, Talon got it last week, and I think she would rather like it this week. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.